from Castaway Key, we are now docked at Castaway. And down below here, these are the little Jeeps that the characters come out in. And then here is the island. They're getting it all ready for us. I believe that we can go ashore in just a few minutes, but there's a lot of hustle and bustling going on down there. I think today, the, one of the first things that we're gonna do, we are gonna go snorkeling and try to see the Prince Eric statue, um, as well as like the other Disney memorabilia that's like under the water in the snorkeling area because it looks like so much fun. We have our GoPro with us, so we should be able to get some underwater footage of those things today but i think they're letting people on so i think we gotta go deck one is where we go to get off the boat and let me show you the line yeah okay the line is moving i think we're all gonna be taking the stairs down We're headed to the snorkel rentals. We pre-ordered the snorkel package with the bicycle rental as well. And so we are gonna head to get snorkel gear right away so we can try our best to go see the Prince Eric statue. <laughs> Most important thing, shopping check. <laughs> they do send back to the boat, which is kind of nice. So we can pick it up after 6 p.m. today when we get back on the ship. And so I got a couple t-shirts and a couple fun things. But if you want to see that uh, haul video, I'll link it above and down below for you because I'm sure it's out by now. Okay. Hopefully there's no more distractions. We got to get to that Prince, Prince Eric statue. It's quite the little trek out here. But we finally made it to Flippers and Floats. I think this is where we get our gear. Hopefully. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> Snorkeling gear has been acquired. We got snorkels and then we also have life vest and flippers. Out here in this little spot is supposed to be where the things are buried. So we will see what we can find. Let's go snorkeling. Ready? Ready. Looking good. This swim is long. We've been swimming for like 12 minutes and no sign of Eric. I'm going to need my strength. Float on your back when you get a leg. <laughs> I think I've been swimming too long. Jesse's like, there's manta rays underneath you. I'm like, I don't want to know these things. Oh god. We just came back to our seats and they're having a wedding. Right here. Oh my gosh, there's an actual piano player. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful background though. Look how pretty. Get, buddy. I got a pina colada. And a bamboo. It's not real bamboo, but it's pretty cool. 
That's so cool. We just pull up to whichever bike we want. I think this one's looking good for me. Tropical living there, babe. Serenity Bay. Fairly busy out there, but very nice and calm, beautiful water. And I'm going to get a little drink of some sort. I got a little coconut. And this is the castaway punch. So it's got lime and mint muddled and then three different fruit juices. It's so good. It's like a tropical paradise with like fresh lime and mint, which makes it like very, very, very extra fresh tasting. It's so good. We couldn't really talk about snorkeling with the wedding going on, but we'll talk about it now. Um, it's a long swim. Like it was 12 minutes out to the Prince Eric statue. So like be prepared for a heavy swim. Um, they do give you life jackets and they do give you flippers, which was very helpful. I couldn't have done it without, without both of those, to be honest with you. Um, I got two <laughs> leg rims. I'm just not used to swimming for 20 plus minutes straight. It's just not um, something that I'm used to. But I, I was surprised at how many fish there were. I don't know why. But it seemed like it was a pretty popular like place for fish. Jess, what did you see? I saw two manta rays by Dumbo. I saw the white fish. I didn't even see head. Dumbo. He was right underneath you when the manta rays were there. I said Dumbo and the manta rays were underneath you. Oh. And you said, ah, I don't want to see them. And you freaked out. <laughs> okay, you tried fair. to swim away fast, but you couldn't. <laughs> That's how I remember it. <laughs> and that's accurate. How big were they? As big as a pelican bird. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad. I'm so glad I didn't see those in real life. I think that that would have made me cry. Um, I mean, the fish were enough. I get kind of like nervous around fish in the wild, which is really stupid, but. There was these little baby ones with stripes that were so much like this, right in your face, like. Oh. Say hi to you, that's cute. shallow like we're like sitting on our our like feet at the point <laughs> but man it feels good it was kind of like really hot over by the sun chairs so it's nice to have a little bit of cold water <laughs> it was so funny she was british she's like there's sand everywhere it's hot and i absolutely hate it <laughs> it was so relatable <laughs> We were seated at the beach over here. Here's all of the cabanas that you can rent, but they go really quickly and they are very expensive. Just it up a little bit. We did. A couple hours at the beach was nice. Yeah, we saw a damn pelican bird <laughs> hunting fish and then I was swimming and then he flew right over me. It was really cool. Yeah. And like the fish uh, like uh, shoaled up, is that the word? On the side of the beach and some other birds came in and we got to watch them try and eat fish. It was really cool. It was really cool. There were little sandpipers. They were really cute. It was the highlight of my whole vacation. Wow, really? I thought yeah. the manta rays would be. Manta rays are cool, but I love pelican bird. Wow, okay, pelican great. Pelican birds are cool. Pelican birds are super cool. Yeah, like munch stuff. Cool. It's cool. <laughs> yeah, they do. Yeah. Um, now we're going to go get barbecue. Yeah, it's kind of, it's like noon. Um, and we're pretty hung- I'm pretty hungry anyway. Yeah, I mean, do we had a light breakfast today? <laughs> yeah. So we had a little room service breakfast. Mm. I'll, I'll put in a little clip of it here, but it was really good. It was just fresh fruit and croissants. Mm -hmm. Very croissants. nice. I heard that the ribeye sandwich um, is what Hector, our waiter, told us last night that we have to try. So I'm going to get that. I think Jesse's probably going to get like pulled pork or something. I might get both. Oh, okay. I trust Hector. <laughs> he knows what's up. 
right? Hector's amazing. Yeah. Here is one of the lunch spots at Serenity Bay. It is a buffet style. It's very, very smoky inside. And then they also have dessert on the outside, but there's like sandwiches, barbecue fixins, fresh fruit. It was very nice. Right next to the buffet is this large picnic area where you can eat your lunch. It is quite the busy lunch area. Everyone had the same idea. But the food it looks really good. Jess, how's your food so far? Mm, it's good. This um, lime bean salad is really good. Nice. We're heading back. Get ready to bike up over here. Woo! Get the heck out of here. Yep. We had a pretty good meal. It was good, it was actually. A, a barbecue meal. I got the brisket sandwich. It was really good. The ribeye sandwich? <laughs> ribeye sandwich, I mean. And the brisket sandwich. I ended up choosing the cheeseburger and then papaya, mac salad, and a brownie. It was all so good. After several hours at Castaway Key, we are headed back to the boat. Yeah. It's time, we're sunned out, beached out all the things and so we're gonna go see what the ship has to offer this early afternoon <laughs> Here's a list of all of like the amazing people that take a significant amount of cruises, but look at these little buoys. We've got Nemo, Goofy, Donald, and Dory. That's so cute. And then we got Flounder, and Mickey, and Daisy. Oh, what's that one, guys? Who is that? Black and yellow? Maybe Gil? Time to board. We're both sunned out. How's your sun level? It's high. Hi, yeah, it's max. Your shirt. Yeah, your fishing shirt came in clutch. It's just really harsh sun, which we're not used to. But that's okay. We had a great time. And now we can go back to the AC and take a nice shower. <laughs> Get all this sand all out of our crevice salt crevasse. That's the room. We both took a shower and got all the salt water off us because we were covered in salt. Uh, but I wanted to show you our view still. Um, so here's all the boat tie-offs and then look how beautiful this water is just so stunning and then there's people getting back on the ship you do have to go through like a security process similar to TSA to get back on the boat in case you were wondering and you have to have your ID but wow what a stunning area Ordered a little afternoon snack. We totally took a nap. We got sunned out, bro. We got sunned out big time. Got sunburn. Oh, Jesse got a little sunburn. It's not bad. It's terrible. No, it's not. Look at it. <laughs> it's not terrible. It hurts so bad. Does it? It's red. I think he's lying. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Okay, it's a little bit bad. It's um, probably good too. It's gonna. It needs to set in probably before, but you put so much sunscreen on. I don't know. There's no way to avoid it. I think you need a high <laughs> SPF. He chose 30 SPF. I don't think that's enough for when you're in the Bahamas. I think you need more than that. I don't know. I don't believe. Well, I didn't high. get. I didn't get burned. I don't believe it higher than the 30 SPF. All right, fair. I don't think it exists. But we were so tired. We took a shower, um, and then I was. I blew. I. Um, blow dried my hair and I got like super sleepy. So we just woke up from like an hour and a half nap, which was great. So now we're gonna have some I'm munchies. Some and by the way, I did try a chicken wing. It's super delicious. And the all of room service is free. So, except soft drinks, which we did get a Sprite because for some reason when I'm in the sun, I love I love a crisp Sprite. Just think it's lovely. Mm -hmm. Do you have a go-to drink that you get when you're at the beach? It's always Sprite for me for some reason, but we're watching HGTV. Yeah, we've been watching a bunch. <laughs> we've been watching it a lot. <laughs> oh no, how are we going to change the walls of the room? <laughs> that pretty much says it. And then they're always here. like behind schedule and 
-hmm. Over budget. You know the use. Yep. I just popped out here on the veranda because check this out. Someone is parasailing around the ship. What a fun activity. Next time we come, I want to do that. In preparation for tonight's bound, I'm bounding as the fairy godmother. I need to go visit the ironing area of the laundry facilities. So they don't allow irons or steamers in the room. So you have to use like the common space. So I thought I would show you what that looks like. So this is on deck eight. It's called Fairy Tale Fresh Laundry. There are soap dispensers at the front and then you can see there's tons and tons of washers, dryers, and little ironing stations as well. You cannot have an iron in your room, so you have to use the ones that are here. Okay, time to iron my outfit. Let's do this. Kind of our last view of the ocean um, for the cruise. So I thought we would just take a little peek. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Mm -hmm. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart. It's just a few minutes before dinner time and our <laughs> hotel room is a wreck. Look at this thing. Oh my God. Um, we have to run down. We're going to get some photos. I am bounding as the fairy godmother and I will show you guys my outfit in just a second but we got to run down and get photos and then get to dinner and I'll insert a little clip of my outfit here and we're going to 1923 tonight so that's why I'm dressed like this because they have a whole Cinderella section that's like based off of the um, animation like cells and art and concept drawings and those sorts of things is super cool so hopefully we'll get to sit in the Cinderella section maybe the trees will whisper the word Spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope. This was my appetizer and I ate the entire thing and I definitely could have had seconds. It tasted like homemade pasta. The cheese was delicious. I kind of wish I had this for my entree. And for my appetizer, I had a blood orange uh, charcuterie kind of board, mini sized. It was three or four bites and it was delicious. That's all. I'm a bit of a harsh critic when it comes to tomato soup because I love it so much. This definitely was not my favorite. Better than Campbell's, I, I probably wouldn't get this again. For the soup portion of my dish, I choose the pulled guinea ham soup dish. Guinea fowl is a type of small bird with black and white feathers that runs along the ground. The soup was kind of plain. For my entree, I had the filet mignon. It was very tender and very juicy. And the potatoes were really lovely. I didn't really care for the green beans, but overall a very good meal. I would definitely recommend this dish. For my entree, I choose the Italian flat parsley and rosemary crusted rack of lamb. Gosh, I love lamb and this was very good. The green coating on it was a little bit much, but overall good. The scalloped potatoes were absolutely delectable. Gosh, I love this dish. This is definitely the most beautiful dessert that we had. Also, I love anything with lemon and berries. So 10 out of 10, get this dessert. It had lots of different textures as well, which was really fun. What a super delicious dinner at 1923. I was so impressed with the filet. This something that I will say about this cruise that I thought was, I guess I didn't expect was that the sheer volume of food that they have to make and how it was all good quality. Like there was nothing that I got while I was on this trip that I felt wasn't delicious. And so that was kind of a major treat that, um, you know, sometimes when you, I don't know, go on vacation, you don't always get delicious food all the time, but that is not the case on Disney Cruise Line. It was a very delicious and very impressive. Since it is our last night, we have less than an hour to get fully packed and get our luggage out to 
the edge of the hallway because we want them to be able to take it um, off the ship for us so we don't have to try to maneuver with so many people tomorrow because it is so crowded on this ship. It is wild how many people there are. And I can't imagine trying to carry my luggage through a sea of people because we have four luggage. <laughs> we have four luggages. So um, I wanted to show you one thing. We have to take down our beloved arts and crafts wall that we created while we were here. Our two Ursula pictures and then the little ship um, anchor that I made during one of the craft sessions. So that all has to come down, which is okay. Um, but I'm, I'm going to, to keep those as a little keepsake for our trip here. So I think that's going to do it for us. Thank you so much for watching this cruise vlog series. I will be making a video if it's not out already about what I thought about the cruise as a first time cruiser who's cruising with their husband and no children because I do think that there's a special, uh, we call them childless millennial category that um, Disney usually serves very, very well. And so I've got a lot of opinions on things and how the cruise went as one of those people that don't have children and that are married and here on a couple's trip. So be on the lookout for that. Let me know what your favorite part of today was. If you've experienced Castaway Key, I would love to know what you thought of the island because it was a really fun experience for us. So with that being said, thank you so much for sailing away with us. And I'm so excited to start a new vlog series after this as soon as we can get back to Disney. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. TTFN, bye!